The fans were obviously unimpressed with the stoppages and for the Croatia supporters, bad news. Just minutes before the game, player coach Vedran Rosic pulled out because of a knee injury and Alan Hunter was thrust into the sweeper's role. Yeah, he caught a bad knock last week. Um, so, you know, I've been playing centre-back for five years, so I suppose I'm due a change, you know. So I'm looking forward to the new role. Hopefully I can do something good for a change. Apia was without injured Buren Zamey while Laurie McKinna was dropped. Darren Stewart and Peter Dredenik were promoted to the bench, but Treads was only on the park for 10 minutes before receiving a red card in the 78th minute. Apia might have had just six points from their previous eight matches, but you wouldn't have thought so after the way they started. First, John Paul came close for the locals, and then Socceroo captain Charlie Yankos tried his luck. He does a dipping one, and Franken was down. A good save by Tony Franken. Croatia's response was typical of their play this year. Gallon Hunter. It was blocked by Yankos. The shot by Clinch. Pisano saving. Slater. Great run by Robbie Slater. Still getting it in, Lamont, putting it back. Pisano, good save, Tony Pisano. Ten minutes before the break came a save which many regarded as the turning point of the game. No troubles at all, and Yankos' shot, and a great save by Tony Franken, absolutely brilliant. Yankos had the shot, it bobbled, it looked like it was going in, and Franken leaped high to parry it over. In the 42nd minute, disaster struck Apia. Lynch again, then he post, and it's an own goal. That's an own goal, I think, for Tonya. I think I got in front of Graham Arnold. I, you know, I can't remember, but I certainly called for it. I got in front of Graham Arden, Arnold, and uh, I don't know, Arno must have got in front of me. But, uh, yeah, own goal. It was an unfortunate thing, but I, you know, I called for it. It's just one of them things. That goal gave Croatia a big lift, and in the second half, they created the better chances. Swing it on the left, Manus Lamond. Nice build-up, Sydney, Croatia. Lamond. Back inside, Slater headed on, now Pekovic a shot, just wide. Slater and Jankos. Slater putting a low one in, well played, Foster. And now Arnold, and the shot, and a good one into the side netting. Oh, and Jankos, shot by Jankos. Nice touch, Brown, well played, good play, Hilton Phillips from Blake, Phillips and Jones getting it inside, and Franken with a good save. Getting inside the clinch. There's the ball for Arnold to chase. Graham Arnold and Pisano, and Pisano is down there quickly. Clinch. For Slater. Bobby Slater setting up Foster again. Foster's shot on target, and it just snuck around. It took a touch from Pisano. In the centre is Jones and Arnold. The back post, and Slater couldn't get to it. Arnold losing his footing, Ingham, Ingham shots and wide, there was two in the centre. One goal was enough to separate the teams and for Rosic an important result. Today game was uh, very hard, uh, especially because the conditions from Lambert Park are not good for the games and uh,